From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Taking a look at your surf and turf forecast for this afternoon. Inland spots only making it up into the middle 80s, not quite as hot as it was yesterday. We'll have a northwest breeze at around 5 to 10 miles per hour, but along the coast, a couple showers may be possible. Temperatures remaining into the lower 80s. Southeast breeze at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And right now, we're still seeing temperatures into the middle 70s at the Noose River. Calm breeze, dew point sitting into the lower 60s. I mean, it, the water is basically practically still. I mean, that is fantastic. And certainly even along the coast, Morehead City, dealing with overcast skies, temperatures, uh, well, still sitting at 76 south southeasterly breeze uh, wind wise around three miles per hour. Air temperatures along the coast sitting into the low 70s, 80 degrees right now at Lake Landing, 74 Cedar Island and it's 75 degrees Kill Devil Hills and 81 currently in Elizabeth City and so looking at the Big Rock Tournament forecast certainly over the next couple of days temperatures will remain into the lower 80s again showers passing by offshore Tuesday will result in partly cloudy skies and we'll have sunny conditions lasting into Wednesday and in terms of your rip current forecast low rip currents water temperature sitting into the upper 60s 73 degree water temperatures along the Ocracoke and then certainly for the Crystal Coast surf around two feet with low rip currents expected and certainly over the next five days along the coast temperatures will remain in to the lower 80s, upper 60s mixing in initially, but then as humidity starts to increase, we'll see temperatures start to uh, increase into the lower 70s at night and further inland well temperatures will go from the mid 80s to around 88 degrees on Wednesday and then the 90s return certainly in a big way Thursday into Friday as we'll have some humidity return heat index values could be approaching closer towards the mid to upper 90s with overnight lows generally sitting into the 60s to around 70 degrees. So again, we'll have a summertime pattern stick around uh, for quite a while, but at least in the short term, we at least have some temperatures at night dropping down to around 64 degrees. So it won't be too bad to start off, but of course the humidity will return in a big way.